Okay, y'all, we're taking a break from all the insanity, and we're going to do this really quick, and we'll do this really simple. We're going to talk about the blue gene in poultry. Okay? Um, I've had a lot of breeds in blue, black, and splash. Let me just tell you, this is the way it works, and it's so simple, and you don't have to know all the breed, the gene designations, all the alphabet soup gene designations and all that. You don't have to know how to write out gene formulations. You don't have to know how to do that. All you have to know is this. In blue, black, and splash, a blue bird is genetically a black bird. A splash bird is genetically a black bird. The blue gene is the color bleacher gene. It's a color bleaching gene. It's almost like dyeing in reverse. You stick a white t-shirt in blue dye for five minutes, it turns one shade of blue. If you put it back in for another session, it turns a darker shade of blue. Think of that in the reverse. If you ha breed, if, if a black bird is bred with a blue bird, and say the chick has contributed, gets one gene from the parent, that bird won't be black. That bird is going to be blue which is, appears visually grayish, grayish blue. The one blue gene fades the black to blue. Now, if you had two blue parents and they each contributed a gene, you can't, a, a bird who is black doesn't have a blue gene. A bird who is black is black. A bird who is blue is blue. Uh, you don't have to guess what color that is. But say a chick has two blue parents, and each parent contributes that blue gene. Two blue genes mean that chick is going to be splash. It has faded once with one copy. It's faded again with another copy. It's faded to a pearly white color with what I call accent feathers. Little blue or black feathers scattered around into the pearly white base color. So, genetically... Blue, black, and splash are all black birds. But a blue bird has had one color bleacher blue gene, and a splash bird has had each parent contribute a blue gene. When you have a blue and a black bred together, you can't get a splash. Because the black bird does not have a blue gene to contribute, and a splash bird requires two copies of the blue gene. You can only get a, blue, a splash bird from breeding two blues or a blue and a splash or a splash and a splash. So, I'm not sure I just said that right, but anyway, um, basically the blue gene is just a bleacher. Now, hint, lavender is not blue. It's called self-blue, but sit blue, because as you see from what I said, blue does not breed true, since when you breed two blues, you can get black chicks, blue chicks, or splash chicks, depending on who contributes the blue gene, Either one a parent, both parents, or neither parent. <sighs> lavender chicks, two lavender parents always produce a lavender chick. Always. Lavender or self-blue breeds true. So never mix lavenders and blues, okay? Never ever. Part, now, I have partridge brahmas, blue partridge brahmas. Partridge is only a penciling pattern on the feather. There are three black lines on each feather in the females. Um, the males don't tend to get the patterning on the feathers. All that does is that it obscures the color so at the very beginning of their lives you can't really tell who's blue partridge, who's straight partridge, which is akin to black, and who's splash partridge. You can't tell that right away. You have to wait till they feather out. But because the pattern kind of obscures the color so you can't just instantly say, oh, that's a blue chick or a black chick or a splash chick like you can with just basic blue black splash birds. Partridge adds a pattern to that color but it's still the same concept of blue black and splash. So I hope that helps a little bit but just think of the blue gene as being a color bleacher. One blue gene fades a black bird to blue and if it gets two blue genes it fades further to a beautiful dusky pearly white color with some accent feathers okay i hope that explains that and never ever breed blue and lavender i don't care how similar they look to your eye they are it's two t completely different genes and they don't mix okay i hope that helps 
and uh, that's a heck of a lot shorter than the first version of this video I tried to do. Um, and uh, I put a few pictures up there of my blue, black, and splash birds, and um, I've had Americanos, uh, blue, black, splash Americanos, blue, black, and splash rocks. I still have two splash birds, 12-year-old splash Americana snow and 9-year-old splash rock, Gloria Jean, and that's all I have left now. And, of course, my partridge and blue partridge brahmas. So, hope this helps. And uh, it's the oversimplified version of the blue gene. I know what I have to know. I don't need to know gene designations and formulations. I just have to know what breeds, breeds to what and what I shouldn't breed to what. And usually that's all the backyard people need to know. If you want to know more, it's easy to find it out. But I don't peddle in that kind of stuff. <laughs> Not usually. I just kind of, basically what I need to know in the simplest form that I can explain it. So, hope this helps and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.